I've always been interested in magic, you know, even since I was a kid. It used to be this trick that me, me uncle would do. We'd go around the house and, and when my auntie was out, he used to do this trick where he'd, uh, he'd make his trousers disappear. You know, that's... It's always stayed with me. Hi there! Hi! How are you? Alright? Hey, come over, hey. Come over, I've got something to show you. You're going to love this, all right? I studied all the greats, you know, when I was growing up. Um, Sooty, uh, the great Soprendo, Wizbit. Now, you might have seen this trick done before, you know, on telly and that. But let me tell you, up close, like this, much more impressive, all right? Okay, uh, Kim. Kim. Oh, yeah. Blindfold, <laughs> please. Oh, is it that bit? <laughs> yes, it's that bit. Kim is my glamorous assistant. I mean, every magician worth his salt's got one. She's um, she's the Debbie McGee to my Paul Daniels. Uh, the Paul Daniels to my Wizbit. So, as it says in the paper, and I need to apply for jobs to get my dolls, so I applied for this one because I just thought it'd be a DOS. Right. <laughs> now then. Does anybody know what this is? Well, you just said it's a blindfold. Spot on, give the man a prize. <laughs> Was I supposed to be in crisis? It's a figure of speech. Okay. One of the reasons that Kim is so important to this act is she brings a bit of use to it, you know? I think, I think if you were to ask a lot of people around her age to describe me, they might say, oh, bit of a square. David, well, uh, he's a bit of a twat, really. So, with that on, you can't see anything? Anything at all? No. Lovely. All right, then. So, now the lovely Kimberly will blindfold me. Like so, there we are. And now, I can't see anything at all. <laughs> so what I do, I take a pen and a piece of paper like this. Now, if I can have a volunteer, please, just think of a number between one and a thousand and just come over, whisper it in my ear. Anyone at all? Four, seven, eight. Great. Lovely, thank you very much. So what I do now is I take this envelope like that and I'm going to properly seal that down like that. There we are. I love the sealed envelope prediction. I mean, for me, it's one of the great pieces of mentalism. Yeah, I suppose the pay's all right, but it's a bit embarrassing, really. So, if you could just take that and uh, just check it, make sure that's properly sealed, there's no way I could look inside at all. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, so there's no way I could get in there and see what's been written inside? Well, no, I suppose not, but as you've written it in the first <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, priceless, yeah. But with a blindfold. Okay, so if you pass that to one of your friends so that I can, you know, tamper with it at all in any way. Lovely. Now then, you were my volunteer, weren't you, sir? So can we have another piece of paper, please, Kimberly? In fact, I'm anything but square, you know. I'm, I'm hip. I'm, I'm bad, you know. I, I, I go down on the kids. I keep telling him he's saying that wrong just doesn't listen. Lovely, thank you very much. If I can give you that, sir, and this pen. So, you thought of a number, didn't you, between one and a thousand. So if you could just write that number now on that piece of paper for me. Lovely, let's have a little look at that. Four, seven, eight, everyone. Four, seven, eight. There we go, have you got that? Lovely, now then, yeah. earlier, I wrote down a number that's been sealed in that envelope since then. So if you could open that up for me now, please. Okay, rip it open and just read out what's written inside, nice and loud. <coughs> 478. 478, everyone. Amazing. 478. Thank you very much indeed. Obviously a decent magician would get the volunteer to write the number in the envelope. Should they write the number that goes in the envelope? Well, how would I know what it was then? 
I really, I don't get it. I really don't understand why he did that. Do you know? It's, it's not actual magic. You, you, you know that, yeah? I mean, it's, it's just a trick. Join us next time and once more prepare to be bewildered by David Bryant, Street Magician.